important. This is in Birmingham, Alabama. The rain's still coming down. We have uh, our radar as well. We're going to put up on the screen to show you just how massive uh, and extensive this storm system is. But the rain is just really coming down there at the moment here on this Tuesday, late afternoon, early evening hours. And we do have uh, the radar that we want to show you here. You can just see this massive storm system still kind of just hovering over southern states, northern Alabama, central Alabama, northern Georgia, more in the Atlanta area as well. And so flooding to be very, very dangerous for residents who are trapped in what appears to be this kind of apartment complex where emergency responders are coming to the rescue. Uh, we are. Vantage point is a little bit obscured just um, by the building itself, but you can see they are trying to get people to safety as the water levels rise. We're working on getting you more information, but this is in Birmingham, Alabama, and you can see the uh, massive storm system that is just hammering southern states for about the last 48 hours. And you can kind of get a sense of how deep and high the water is. Uh, you can see those submerged cars there. It's well up to the window line, past the tires. Thankfully, no one uh, is in those cars right there. Those cars look to be parked. But you can see uh, just the extent of how fast the water is moving, the rain still coming down, but also how deep and how high the water level has risen. We're going to take this full for you just so you get the full extent of uh, the seriousness of the situation with these rising floodwaters in Birmingham, Alabama. You saw some of those rescue boats. We're working on getting a sense of exactly where in Birmingham this is. But the rain still coming down there on this late Tuesday afternoon. You can even see some residents, some young girls there, kind of just riding this out with their dog on their phones, kind of seemingly like they're not paying attention to what's going on right below them. I'm sure they are aware, but uh, still exchanging some laughs there, you saw. But look how fast that water is moving. Flash flood watches and warnings in effect. We're going to put up the radar that we have for you once again here. And you can see just the red, the yellow there in northern and central Alabama. Rescue efforts appear to be underway. We just saw one. And so we do have some more information that we want to bring to you. This um, is flooding in Birmingham, Alabama, following this round of severe storms from yesterday afternoon that we reported on extensively here on News Now from Fox. A flash flood warning in effect for Jefferson County until 7 p.m. tonight. Emergency officials, we apologize there for, uh, for the shot. They are repositioning. We're just going to go full right to the to the radar, but we um, are learning that emergency officials reported thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the, the area. Two and three inches of rain have already fallen, and so you can see widespread flash flooding occurring at the moment. Local Birmingham offices, the city of Birmingham, including the uh, 311 call center, are closing early on this Tuesday due to the threat of severe weather. 
Local fire departments in the area have responded to multiple weather-related calls. They're receiving lots of reports of trees down with strong winds uh, from the very, very low wake. So they are warning anyone who uh, is driving in this to be very, very, very cautious. Also, some damaging winds likely have downed power lines, and that is not a great mix if the power lines are downed in the floodwaters themselves. Here we have kind of a better shot for you. You can see more of those emergency officials paddling on by parked cars that are almost fully submerged. We're going to take this shot full. All right, we're still learning to get, uh, waiting to get more information on exactly this pretty severe weather event. Uh, we are learning, though, that a wake low has developed on the backside of the heaviest rain. What essentially what that is, it's producing strong wind gusts, uh, which could easily take down trees in the moving water. And so um, emergency management officials are warning and cautioning drivers to please not be on the roads at this time. They don't want you to take any chances in trying to drive anywhere, especially with these rising floodwaters. So more specifically, this is in the Homewood, Alabama area of Birmingham. And so, uh, as you know, here on News Now from Fox, a lot of the photographers, especially in situations like this, they need to find the right position and, and get the right shot. So it's, it's, you know, live, raw, and unfiltered here, especially in breaking news and severe weather events. And there you can see a better view of these emergency management officials paddling, trying to rescue people in what looks like to be quite a strong current, to be honest. And we're just going to bear with the photographer here. They are moving in and out of the pretty treacherous situation. We're going to go back to uh, the radar that we have until the shot has stabilized. But even with this torrential downpour of rain and these flash flooding warnings and watches, there are still several severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for Chambers and Lee counties. That's until 8 p.m. local time there. So that shot we were showing you earlier from uh, that really terrible flooding, that was in Homewood, Alabama, right outside of downtown Birmingham. We're learning from uh, our affiliate there on the ground. There haven't been any injuries reported, which is very good news. Uh, but it still seems like some of these rescue attempts are underway for people who may be trapped in their, in their homes. We didn't see anyone uh, stuck or trapped in their cars, those cars that we were showing you earlier look to be parked in that parking lot outside that apartment complex.
I just want to read for you a treat, uh, tweet, excuse me, from the National Weather Service in Birmingham, Alabama. They spread, they just said eight minutes ago, widespread damaging winds are the main threat right now, but a tornado or two is possible. They said at this time, there are several small areas of rotation that they're watching very closely. That was about eight minutes ago. About 40 minutes ago, they tweeted, be aware, a wake low has developed on the backside of the heaviest rain, producing strong wind gusts, which could easily take down trees with the saturated soils. So that was a main concern as well. Some of those loose trees could be swept up in the floodwaters themselves because they said they're receiving lots of tree down reports uh, with strong winds from the wake low. Again. Well, we have a plan in place for flash flooding and severe rain for this apartment. We actually watch on a hourly basis the USGS monitor just up the stream. And so we got down here um, about 30 to 40 minutes prior to the actual flooding and started evacuating the bottom floors. We started with a mandatory evacuation. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Isaac, let me speak. We started with a voluntary evacuation of the first floors and anybody that was willing to leave, we would let them relocate now. Our goal was to get everybody out of the first floors knowing that the rain was going to continue and it would likely keep rising and not have to perform boat rescue. I do not know the number that we got out on the voluntary evacuation. I do know that we have brought out 13 people by boat so far. Currently, we have asked all the residents in the second floor apartments to stay in place and only call us if they have an emergency. I noticed so so we have several concerns with flood water one is the current the current can be a lot stronger than it seems when you walk through it but two the buildings do have active power on them and most of the transformers are on the ground and underground power so we have alabama power on the way to help mitigate the situation so we don't want anybody in the water that has a chance to get hurt we will let Alabama Power make that call, but we're going to count on their guidance to whether they turn it off or not. And I know City of Homeland, they can do what they can to keep this shade free clean, to keep that flowing going, but when you have a heavy rain, there's only so much you can do, right? That's correct. Anytime it rains really hard on us, we normally don't have a problem, but when those bands move north of us into Shades Creek areas north of the river, that is typically when we see large volumes of water and a high rate of rise. That's correct. B R A N D O N. Nope. There's a good shot of our boat coming in, though, if you can make it. All right. I'm here to help you. So nope. anything you need, let me know. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Perfect. Can we carry that? You good? I think we're good. All right. So there you heard from uh, that emergency management official on the ground in the Homewood. Alabama area of, of Birmingham that uh, 13 people rescued from that apartment complex. Uh, you were you were seeing that in the in the live pictures from a little bit earlier. And so there is the emergency rescue team there that they've been paddling and battling the current of these really, really fast moving floodwaters. And so at the moment, we just want to show you again uh, the radar, this is over the last oh, a half hour or so, but kind of just sitting, parking there over northern and central Alabama, northern Georgia, the Atlanta area as well. And so we learned just a little bit ago from that official, 13 people rescued from that apartment complex. Remember, we were just showing you the uh, cars parked there and very, very deep in the water. So uh, we'll be continuing to